everybody, have you heard the news? We got a brand new show that's breaking all the rules. Started out from VA and now we on the move. From low so to global, cause we got something to prove. We came from the bottom, now we at the tippy top. To hold it down for our people, cause we all we got. This a cold, cold world, but we keeping it hot. With our future on the line, ain't no time to stop. All work over here, still we having fun. Yeah, we say it like it is, ain't no holding our tongue. Go get us on the team, yeah, we getting it done. And shout out to Travel, yo, you number one. You're now tuned into another episode of Wait a Gam Minute Podcast. And um, yeah, I'm Gam. And of course, I got my sidekick, my co host, Miss Go Getter. Miss Go Getter, why are you always taking so long to grab the mic and stuff? It's like, I don't know. We're back for season eight. And this is your first episode back. And you're already ready to cut up. No, I'm not. Okay, well, let's be on our best behavior because we do have a special guest tonight, Miss Jennifer Branham. So, how are you, ma'am? I'm doing fine. You're doing fine? That's yes, good. I am. That's good. Let me fix these mics to make sure everybody can hear you. Thank you for asking. So how was your weekend? Well, my weekend was awesome. I went to my family reunion. Oh, okay. I haven't been to a family reunion in a couple. Of, you know what? I've been to a family reunion in a long time now. I don't know why, though. I just, I just, mm. you see, like, the older I get, the more I just get out of it, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, and I've only been to one family reunion and didn't stay there the whole time. One in your whole 65 years. Girl, I was about to say something. Mm -hmm. I'm just saying, like 65 years, you only been to one family reunion. Well, you would she would have been in the older group than at our family reunion at 65. Yeah, Yeah. Yeah. she would have been in the older (laughs) group. Mm -hmm. (laughs) So, Miss Jennifer, please (laughs) introduce yourself to our viewers and listeners of Way to Gam in the podcast. Sure. My name is Jennifer Branham. I am co-founder and executive director of Bridge the Gap Outreach Center. We're located in Suffolk, Virginia. Um, anything else you'd like to know about <laughs> any kids? And that was great. Kids, kids, right? <laughs> right. Any kids, grandkids? Yeah. Oh, sure. I have um, a total of, let my children tell I have 11 grandchildren, but I always say I have six bio grandchildren and five bonus grandchildren okay Okay. out of that out from which comes um three adult children they're 38 40 and 41 okay okay so tell us a little bit about your nonprofit. well tell us a little bit first about what is it that you actually do first okay bridge the gap outreach center is a distribution center um, where individuals who um are um, from low-income communities, they're unemployed, they're underemployed, they may be veterans, they may be homeless, or just someone who's just marginalized. Because in this day and time, we all know that post-COVID, um, people are just barely making it. Right. You know, um, it, it's almost like I can, I gotta live to have, pay my rent, pay my mortgage, gotta have transportation. Um, some people may get food stamps, but then there's that in between, that basic right. essentials that we all need. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Um, toilet paper, trash bags, um, laundry detergent, household cleaning, oh, yeah. all types of toiletries. So we are benefactors of um, donated items from four, co- well, actually three corporate, but two of the corporates um, come from Amazon. And we actually receive these pallets um, on a weekly and sometimes bi-weekly basis. Um, and we get pallets of goods that we are able to make available to individuals okay. who can't otherwise purchase those items. So we do it on a, a referral basis. And that could be a self-referral. Mm-hmm. Um, we distribute those items um, Tuesday, Wednesdays, and Thursdays between 10 and 2. Okay. And, mm-hmm, and individuals can call in or someone may refer them mm-hmm. to us um, to meet the needs. 
um, that they may have. Okay. So what I understand what it I understand what it is that you guys do, but what made you guys do that? Like you personally, like how did it actually start? Put it that way. Well, it actually started um, from the vision of one man. You know, the okay. word says, you know, write the vision, make it make plain. It plain. That's right. Yeah, yeah. And the then that vision. they that read it will run with it. Mm -hmm. So I um, assisted this individual with um, his vision which is to make a tangible difference in the lives of the less fortunate. And as a result, out of that was birthed the Outreach Center. Okay. Um, my, my background is having every employment position I've ever had has been a grant position. And I learned from that aspect how to meet the needs. So my whole entire life has all, always been about human services. So uh, as a result of that, I became a consultant um, okay. with my personal business and through helping this individual who was initially in a, a client, I actually became a member of his board and hence we co-founded Bridge the Gap Outreach. Um, I enjoy servicing people. Right. I okay. enjoy helping people. Wow. And you asked me, how did it get started? I can remember as a child helping Miss Myrtle, who lived next door, mm -hmm. hang her clothes. I would brush her hair. I would make beds. I would wash dishes. And I loved being of service to right. others. Yeah. I just, okay. it, it's just inbred. You in had me. the heart. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's actually good because I think that's what a lot of um, the world is missing now is a lot of humanity. Like yes. people actually giving and giving from the heart. Right. You know, people now, you know, it's sad to say, but it's, I mean, it's true that people give for notoriety, you know, for whatever right. reason, mm -hmm. but it's not generally from the heart that's willing to help people. So that's good that you actually, um, that was, you know, that is who you is as a mm -hmm. person. Yes, right. So that's that's actually dope. Um, so you said you're open Tuesday, no, Monday, Wednesday, and Tuesday. for our services, our outreach services for individuals that are in need, it's Tuesday, Wednesdays, and Thursdays. Okay, so what do you mean for individuals that are in need? Um, like I said, individuals mm -hmm. can self-refer or um, they can be referred by agency. Okay. To give you an example, okay. um, we actually are a diaper distribution okay. um, organization. We partner with the Greater Hampton Roads Diaper Bank, and we actually distribute diapers to individuals who oh, are in okay. need from birth okay. to seniors. Okay. Um, we also, um, another example is the Suffolk uh, Women's Center at Overseas mm -hmm. Hospital, mm -hmm. and they may call and have young mothers who might need um formula who might need okay. um maternity clothes who might need things for their newborn because they don't have it right. and not to say that there aren't other services who offer that but what i found is that we are unique okay. we are get that. different Could you we are different from um other individuals right. and other organizations who may do some of the same and similar mm -hmm. so we get uh, dry goods we get mm -hmm. um food not refrigerated food but shelf stable food so okay. we contact churches and food banks and right. say to yeah. them, um, do you have a need for food? You can fill your food pantry by partnering with us. And we're always looking for partners. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah. And okay. it's, go ahead. Let's go get them. So what about, okay, so you said those days are open for individuals in need. What about other individuals who might okay. not so need but want. So we call that making a difference between the haves and the have not. Okay. So we actually, our fundraising consists of a donation store where we get electronics, we get other types of household goods, we get car parts, we get, so think about it for those of you who are out there in the listening audience, think about the pallets. You always hear Amazon sales pallets, other organizations sell pallets where, mm -hmm. like I said, we're the benefactors of donated pallets. And so we can get anything from a fingernail yeah. to Hair. um to Apple products, if you will. Yeah. And so not that we wouldn't give it to a person who's in need, but we have an operation that requires um overhead, that mm -hmm. requires staffing. Right. Um, and mind you, you can tell I do this from the heart because I don't get paid to do this. I enjoy doing this. So I have to write a grant. <laughs> to get paid. So that's in the work. Oh, wow. But this is from truly from the heart. Um, anybody can do it. But 
we do our donation store and what you're giving is a donation. It's a suggested donation. So um, people will come to us because they'll go on Amazon and see it, but they, we may have it mm -hmm. in our donation mm -hmm. store. So um, we just try to avail people. And what we have isn't for everybody because people come in looking for deep discounts. We are not goodwill. We are not <laughs> habitat for humanity. Um, but we will help individuals. Yeah. Like, for example, we had a family that their house was destroyed by the weather. And then we had a surplus of uh, sheetrock. Okay. We were able to give them sheetrock so that they can go in and repair their house. So oh, it's that things was, like that, yeah, that, was, that, was that, you know, that we're able to do. We have churches that come in. So you could come in um, and actually get items for door prizes, um, just gifts, baby showers, whatever. Mm -hmm. So what you're doing, we're doing it not for profit, which that's what we are. Right. It's for a purpose. And that's what I want people to know. Our slogan is help us help them. So right. if you are someone who can afford it, then we consider you a have so that we can provide things to so people who not, can't, right. who are the have and not. not. Okay. So we're making a difference between the haves and the have nots. Oh, mm -hmm. okay. I like that. So, so what days? Bridging what, the gap. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. We okay. So I like that. That's what bridging the gap between the have and the have nots. Yeah, bridge it? the gap. Bridge, bridge the gap. And yeah. if you ever see our name, um, I think on Facebook, it may be the word se is separated. Mm -hmm. Bridge the Gap Ministries is Bridge the Gap, but it's one word, Bridge yes, the I Gap. That, yeah. There are no gaps. Mm -hmm. okay. And because we partner with the community, we're all hand in hand mm -hmm. providing a service. Um, okay. Right. I think we attended one of your events yeah, and um, everybody was giving out school supplies. And mm -hmm. I know because we're distribution, people think we have an overabundance. So we allowed our community partners to come in and we help them. Right. So as a community partner, you have some privileges that others may not have um and so instead Absolutely. we gave out vouchers and our vouchers were back to school vouchers and those vouchers we gave out 37 and the families have been coming in oh that's how yeah, they've they, been they coming in, in so they call and to redeem their voucher they would come in tell us the voucher number they were given mm -hmm. and then we set an appointment for them to come in um and when they come in we give underwear socks t-shirts um bras if, mm -hmm. if if they need it sanitary products um we give them uh laundry detergent dryer sheets and the reason we do that we do that for families that have school age children okay now right. that people are back to school okay you might get food stamps but you can't buy laundry toiletries detergent you right. can't buy the toiletries with that mm -hmm. so we gave them toothbrushes toothpaste deodorant um lotion wipes and everything wipes yeah um, like I said, the sanitary products. And then we even allowed them because we had an overabundance or surplus of clothes from the summer. It was still it's still kind of hot. Yeah. So we allowed them to go in and pick out, out two outfits per child if, you know, if what we had was available to them. Right. So, okay. Mm. That's actually dope. Um, and, and I'm going to tell you why, because um, one, yes, you, you guys did partner with us and mm -hmm. people still, talk, they're not even talking about our book bags and stuff. <laughs> And it's so sad. I mean, it's sad, but it's 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 a it's actually a good thing too. Yeah. Because people, um, you know, so it made people look forward to what's to come. Right. And right. you know, to give out Fitbits and Kindles and stuff yeah. like that. Yeah. You know, braiding hair. Don't forget braiding, braiding hair. hair. Oh yeah. Clothes, we have braid, we had a know. surplus of braiding hair. <laughs> yes. And it, I mean to see like the young adult women who were smiling. Like some of them already had their hair done, right? But they had the hair for the next time, mm -hmm. you know, and they were they were excited, you know. So to see the smiles on their face, it it actually did something to me. You know, what was really heartwarming for me was some of them remembered my name and they wow. came in. Mm -hmm. And this particular day I was too busy. So my program coordinator was servicing right. the families as they came in. Mm -hmm. And she was like, hey, Miss Jennifer. And I was like. Wow, she remembered yeah. my name. Yeah. Oh. You know, and, yeah. and that means a, a lot, lot to yeah, me. It does. And mm -hmm. so we got things like we have Crocs, we get sometimes we get Nikes. And what it did was, and I I can't judge anybody who come in to get what we have to give. Mm -hmm. This lady actually spent almost a hundred dollars. She got her daughter some 
Nike tennis shoes. She got mm-hmm. some Crocs from another one of her child, children. And it was just amazing to see because, granted, if she went into the store to get oh, so those yeah. items, she right. would have paid yeah. way far more than what she paid, you know, right. or contributed. Because we don't look at it as a couple things. With that right. Money. She was ap- actually was able. She, you know, mm-hmm. who thinks of bras and panties and things like that? Not no more. And especially, we do. <laughs> right. We right. do. <laughs> right. Um, you know, and then with, with the younger generation, they don't think about putting t-shirts on the babies anymore. Uh, they trying to put the halter tops on a two-year-old. Yeah. You know, yeah. so I think that um just those things are 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 needed and and and, and I'm sure that they are appreciative. And then the thing is to tell your family and friends because just as well as you need some help, somebody else may need mm-hmm. it too. Right. Exactly. And you can't look at someone and assume anything. Right. By right. looking at them. Right. Exactly. exactly. Life is life in out here. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, you know, with that being said, you don't know who needs what. So how can, you know, um, people contact you? Like how, give out your information as far as the address, how they can contact you and how the process goes again. Okay. The way the process goes, well, first of all, how can you contact us? Right. Um, you can contact us on Facebook. We're Bridge the Gap Outreach on Instagram. Um, you can go to our website, which is www.bridgethegapoutreachcenter.org. Again, that's www.bridgethegapoutreach.org. Okay. Um, you can also call, like even right now, there's listeners um, who are in the area. Mm-hmm. Now, mind you, we're located in Suffolk, but we've had people to reach out to us from far and near. Um, and we don't exclude anybody while we primarily service Suffolk residents. Mm-hmm. We don't exclude anybody. So you can actually call in and schedule an appointment. Now, there in lies the problem. You have to get to us. We right. aren't at that point where we can make deliveries. Um, that's in the work. But we have had people who, some of our volunteers, who have actually volunteered to drop things off. Uh, we probably start with the seniors mm-hmm. because, you know, a lot of them can't get out. But mm-hmm. um, someone donated us a uh, Tahoe. And a we, truck? A truck. A whole truck. Oh, <laughs> a oh, whole yeah. truck. Oh, truck. <laughs> um, we did have to put a little money in it to get it operating. But I use that for our outreach um, right, yeah. in the community okay. because we do plan to go to communities, and which we already done. We would take loads of clothes and we would just go to the community, hey, we're here, or we'll partner with another organization, right. put the bins out, go for what you know. Right. Um, but yeah, those are the ways that you can reach us through um, Facebook, through um, Instagram, our website. And then our number is 757-809-1300. Mm-hmm. That's a direct number to our location. You can call, you can leave a message. If you're interested, um, I will say leave your email because we can um, email you a form for you to fill out. Right. And when that form comes back to us, we can actually um, contact you and it'll provide the information to us what you need. Our volunteers will pack it up and all you have to do is come pick it up. Now, when it comes to the clothes, we do allow you to come and shop yourself for your sizes. Oh, and things. Right. Mm-hmm. I have to um, commend you guys. Like, you know, I don't know how the facility the facility look prior to me coming, but when you go in there, everything is well organized according to, you know, um, whether it's toiletry, whether it's clothes or perishables or, or whatever it is. And it seems like you got, you guys have a well or machine in it. Everybody know what everybody's doing. And, you know, you can kind of go put your hand on things, even though it's a large warehouse. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's a warehouse. Yeah. And, yeah. you know, just to see that, like, and I think what really got me was, when you ride past it, like I go to my brother's house, I, I always saw the building there, never knew what it was. Mm-hmm. So it's kind of like a hidden gem. Yes. That's what I would call it. Because when you walk in, you see life in there. Yeah. Yeah. So that, you know, I just want to commend you guys on the job that you have done thus far. And, you know, keep doing what you guys are doing. How can, um, what type of partners are you looking for? Well, we're looking, we're back, well, all kinds of partners. We're looking for individuals. So those are donor partners. We're looking for community partners. The community partners can be a church. 
It could be another nonprofit. It could be, um, it could be a business. Mm -hmm. The only thing I would say is that the items cannot be sold. So okay. we're not looking for businesses to come in and say, resale, oh, yeah, yeah resale. We're not, mm -hmm. we're, we, we don't operate that way because right. we're trying to help others and we're trying to help people. Um, we call it economic mobility because a lot of people have lost that, but they still want things. That's where the haves and the have nots come in. Right. And um, we do what we do and we allow people, we don't, nothing's hidden. Mm -hmm. But we tell people when you come in, if you want it, because mostly we have people who come in for the store and see stuff on the outreach side and say, hey, can I get that? So when mm -hmm. I say things like brand new sheets, curtains, um, pillows, um, book, bags. book bags, name brand stuff, yeah. my pillow, you know, like mm -hmm. I said, Apple products, Fitbits and yeah. things of that nature. So it's there. It's right. there. Um, I'm at the point where I'm a minimalist because. I don't have to buy anything but food. Right. <laughs> That's all I got to buy. Yeah. Um, yeah. And everything I need is right there. Um, but for the most part, you know, we we look for volunteers. Those are partners. Okay. We look for people okay. who want to come in and volunteer. Um, we actually have a homeless person right now who is, he comes to us every day. When I get there, he's sitting on the porch. He's my logistics man i have a neighbor who mm -hmm. now goes to pick up all of our donations because we have to pick up of our pick up our donations ourselves and we're looking for supporters we're looking for monthly supporters people who who want to help us help them right so you know we do have paypal we have cash app we take cash you name it like i said i don't get paid so it's not for a profit it is for a purpose help us okay. help them wow oh, wow that's good now mm -hmm. so you say you you need more um or you can use more volunteers to help with maybe in the future when you start your delivery mm -hmm. so that's volunteers you would need for that as well mm -hmm. as well as picking up because you right now you only have one person helping you pick up yeah. Um, and, and hopefully in the grant writing process that I'll be able to offer him a position because he right. doesn't work, but right. he okay. has, be able to help, you help know, out, yeah, be able to help him out. I mean, he came the other day and, you know, he had a need, you know, I, I tell people all the time, don't be ashamed because you have a need. There's something at some point in time, nobody's going to judge, right. yeah, nobody's yeah. Gonna mm -hmm. judge you. I think that the the hardest part for people is to come and say, I need help. Mm -hmm. So I have to document everything. Um, and I say that because I know the, the grant world or how people think when it comes to nonprofits. Mm -hmm. um, I document everything. So if you come in, you're going to fill out a form for That's all right. the items that you get. So I can prove that what you gave was a donation. Now, can you write it off? No, because you received something for it. Right. Remember, I okay. I do nonprofits and I'm in the that that world. So um when you come, we fill it out. When individuals who have a need come, we fill out a form. Um and it's it a, explains it's a paper to you. trail. It's a paper right. trail. So when you know because you have to do your part yes, to make exactly. sure that you can continue to get in the goods yes. and, and be able to give them to people called integrity right, right. <laughs> it's called integrity yeah, so. absolutely so yeah. i'm 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 excited for you guys and, and 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 i'm glad that we got a chance to partner up and, and we're now um you know family so and it's mm. like um because we too want to build with like-minded people yes, yes you know and i think as you were talking about how bridging and gap like with the with the with your partners and how the, it's hand to hand i think that's how the the culture and the community move forward exactly. Exactly. we have to be hand to hand whether we personally agree on whatever but in order for us to make it out here in order for us to get to the next level we gotta have a level of respect for one another first mm -hmm. right and exactly. do things and collaborate with other people put it that way and I, I likewise, I appreciate you all bringing me on here because a lot of people will say, oh, "Why we don't know about you? And yeah. how long y'all been doing this?" Mm -hmm. People, we've been doing this. We actually established ourselves in October of 2021, February 2022. We took an old dusty warehouse and made it to what it is today. And maybe at some point in time, you will get to see it. But you, I haven't posted the before pictures, mm -hmm. but to see what it was primarily when we went in to where it is now we have offices 
we have um, areas where we can sort. We have a conference Mm -hmm. room and we've had donors who have donated. We have a church who's constantly every week bringing us shelving so we can put things out on display. And um, I'm I just do what I do. Other people may be impressed. But this is my ministry, if you will. This is what I enjoy doing. And believe it or not, nobody else is doing it. Now, somebody else is doing something similar. Goodwill is doing it. CHKD, CHKD, and they're doing it for a purpose as well. And people will flock to those places. People yeah. love thrift stores. Mm-hmm. Okay. I would say 95% of what we have has a price tag already on it. So everything is brand new. Yeah, it's brand new. Yeah. I was about to ask you, was everything actually mm-hmm. brand new? Mm-hmm. And we do mm-hmm. take... um. I say new and gently used, but another big help to us is having um, yard sales. So okay. on the first and third Saturday, we're open to the public. We're open to the public. So when you come in our gate, you'll see a yard sale, basically. Mm-hmm. But what that does is it leads people to come inside the building to access more other things. Right. right. And if they want it, they can get it or they can you know, get what's out there because mm-hmm. we have a certain, when we have a surplus of stuff, it's a time, just like any other store, you have to rotate things out. Mm-hmm. So right now, our summer clothes, nice with tags, 50 cents for children, a dollar for adult, each piece. Come and get it. Yeah, you we, can't, we, yeah, yeah, you can't, we, um, you can't. Yeah, I would love to be able to send the excess over to Maui. I really would, because it's summer all year long. And we have a surplus of clothes. Um, we're just trying to get rid of it and trying to find someone who will take it mm-hmm. and send it over to, to Maui. I know they're trying to rebuild and everything, right, yeah. but those people lost everything in a fire. So they need clothes. Mm-hmm. And I want to be able to be the distributor to send those things. I just need someone because I don't have the resources to um, to actually send it off. So mm-hmm. for those of you who are out there listening, if you know somebody um, locally or not, if we can just get these things to them, I would love to do that because once they rebuild, they're going to need these things. So, and we want to get it to them. And my last question, I think you may have already answered it, but I want to ask you again, um, I want you to answer it again. Now there are thousands of nonprofits out here. What makes a nonprofit that you guys have created and are currently um, doing different from the next? Um, there are people out here who have a need. So there are other nonprofits who are providing and meeting those needs, but there's nobody out there providing toiletries and household goods. You can go to the store and buy it, but nobody's giving away time and gain and um, downing Mm-hmm. You know, people can go to the dollar store and get it, but you're not going to get a 64 ounce, 94 ounce container of laundry detergent or everything we have is quality. We are our, our, um, things like our toiletries. We have Dove, Oil of Olay. Mm-hmm. Um, there's some things that have come in there. Facial makeup and I, I'm Neutrogena, Neutrogena, like, yeah. Cetaphil, <laughs> Vino, yeah. and and for me at my age, I'm I'm yeah, it's all about keeping your skin and all that. So I got some stuff in there, like a case of of uh, cream that is sold in the UK and Paris and other places. That's three hundred and fifty dollars. So you know, I got to do something. Yeah. So I use it. So I got to be the benefactor and I got to show others that this stuff really works and you don't have to go out there and pay $350 for it. So what makes us different is that we are looking to give people their dignity. Um, You don't have to put a towel up to your window. You can come and get curtains. You don't have to, you know, have broken plates, mismatched sets or whatever. You can come. And if you say that's what you need, then, and if we have it, you know, you can have it while supplies limit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, while supplies are limited. Mm-hmm. So, um, Miss Olga, do you got another question before we wrap it up? Because I don't want to step on your toes because you know how you'd be like, Oh, I, I had something to say, so I want to give you your time. You know, we're in season eight now, so oh, I want to be a little. Oh, this is just trying to, a little... to carry me a little bit. No, no, you not think no. about that because I, like, I feel like you kind of carry no. me a little bit. 
No, oh, because yeah. we've had a good episode that, thus far, and I yeah. don't want to taint that by throwing shots at you. Oh, okay. <laughs> I sure feel like it was just shot right shade, the shade, A little bit of shade. Yeah, a little bit of shade. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right. Mm-hmm. No, actually, she um answered everything because I was about to say a couple of things. But she, oh, okay. I don't think you actually said what days the halves can come and get stuff. You said okay. they have not. But what <laughs> the halves, there are two or two or three types of halves. The general public, the first and third. Saturday. Okay. okay. If you are a donor partner, and how do you become a donor partner? The first time you spend a hundred dollars with us, oh, you automatically, partner. yeah, you're a donor partner. <laughs> you're a donor partner. <laughs> the first time you spend a hundred dollars with us, you are considered a donor partner. Community organizations are donor partners. So when can they come? Anytime our door is open. Okay. Anytime our door, because you're a partner. Okay. Yeah. Okay. You can just you don't have to call and make an appointment. You can okay. come on in. And myself and um, our program coordinator, she knows, um, and let me say her name, Renee, because she, yeah, might, she might be watching. Mm-hmm. Uh, but she, um, awesome. She, you know, her, her she's retired. So now mm-hmm. that she helps us, her her career was about helping people too. Right, right. So, so um, we, we work really well in, God knows who to send to you when you're helping. Absolutely. That's exactly that. you know, so. mm-hmm. Okay, so that means that come any day. Um, well, what have the donor, 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 partners. donor partners. partners and community partners. Right. Yes. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. All right. If I could say one last thing, because yes. I think this is very important. Um, we do, we're in a 4,700 square foot building. Mm-hmm. So imagine that. And we have an upstairs, which is also equivalent to the downstairs. And we have a plethora of toys and Christmas. All of our holiday stuff goes up there. So Mm -hmm. the donations we've gotten have come in. um, We couldn't use it. And because of space, we had to put it up. So this holiday season, and we're probably going to start in sometime in October, Mm -hmm. where we are going to, um, we want to service families with four or more children. Oh, this holiday okay. season. Why? Um, I tr- I think out of the box. Mm-hmm. And last year we served 30 first time moms with their entire Christmas for them and their babies. Mm-hmm. And this That's year I want to do families with four or more children. So I already have some because they came from the back to school voucher. So I know okay. who they are, but we're going to go through the school social services. Right. Um, we'll put that information out there. Um, and one of the things that bother me is that people who try to duplicate and they go yeah. the Salvation Army, they go for toys, for tots and things like that. But even with those, if a person has seven kids, they're not going to get the full gamut of, yeah, right. of blessing a family right. or the children. So I personally came up with the idea of a family of four or more children. Um, and often the kids who are around who are teenage years. They yeah, get that, left out. Yeah, because the, they get left the out, people. Cheaper. Yeah, you know, yeah. and then they had all the the little kids get all the good gifts, and then the older kids, you know, less. yeah, mm-hmm. they get less. Now, let me say this: <laughs> we do not have PS fives and fours and threes, yes. but we do have the controllers for them. I do have things like drones. I have um, the supersonic. Beat. Yeah, uh, yeah, exactly. Um, we got Crocs for the little kids. I mean, we get cases of those. So Fitbits and things like that. So we're gonna we're actually going to launch a uh, collection drive for individuals who want to help families as well. And if they would make their contributions to us, we'll make sure it goes to those larger families. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's actually neat. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's, mm-hmm. That's, that's, I mean, you, but you know what? You're absolutely right. When you know when you have those families and uh, younger kids get a lot of the good, the good mm-hmm. toys because you know it, it costs more, so they they kind of get the hand me down mm-hmm. or whatever. So mm-hmm. that was actually a good idea, um, mm-hmm. definitely out of the box. Because I know back to school, we had a back to school drive. Um, a young lady had inbox and she was saying, "What about us? What about us? We have multiple kids." Mm-hmm. Just so you see, but we wasn't, you know, 
really had the ability to go drop book bags off, especially mm -hmm. way in Norfolk. So. Yeah, yeah, because it wasn't really about multiple keys because we didn't put a limit on. Yeah, you couldn't have many keys. Yeah, it was like you yeah. just yeah. come with your keys yeah. and get what you yeah, need. Get what you need. But yeah. and and I'm glad to have been a part of that. Mm -hmm. I mean, we even partnered with you all. Yeah. We actually blessed ten college students with. Everything they no, I ain't gonna say it's everything for their dorm room, but everything from a trash can to a lamp to pillows to a comforter to sheets, um, to toiletries. The guys mm -hmm. got toiletry bags, you know, the girls got their sanitary bags that had every kind of sanitary in it because we, of course, we didn't know what they used, but they could swap it with other females, yeah. you know. Yeah. But, um, that was another unique thing yeah, that we was. did is that we blessed five girls, five boys with, um, outfitting their dorm rooms so that's that's different that's it is that's different it you is. know so that so yes we are different in a number of ways yeah. and it's yeah. you know it's good to know different people yeah you know, and doing different things um so i mean you know i have enjoyed talking to you and Thank of you. course we could talk to you all day long about this <laughs> but we really want to get the message out about your nonprofit and what you guys stand for and what you guys do so that and then when people see they'll be able to recognize who you are mm -hmm. put a name for the face and um, they'll be able to, you know, spread the word because the best form of advertisement is, you know, word of mouth. Word of mouth. Mm -hmm. So with that being said, we always ask our guests how their time has been seriously since they've been on Way to Game in the podcast. <laughs> now, you don't have to be afraid, even though you're in the hot seat and we're not going to shake you one on, you know, on each side. But tell us how your time has been. With Way to Game in Yeah, with us tonight. I'm elated. <laughs> I'm elated. I'm impressed. Um, hey, if you got something going on, get with them. Um, this has been awesome because I'm a behind the scenes kind of person. I just do what I do. And when I met you, mm -hmm. I was informed about what you did. I had heard, I thought I heard a way to get a minute. Mm -hmm. And then I was like, okay, now I'm still working, still pushing, right. still moving. And, you know, we talked about you know, me coming on to the podcast and right. I'm glad I'm here. I'm I'm really glad I'm here because what we have is cookie cutter people. It's cookie cutter. Mm -hmm. I'm not one of those people who keep things to myself. So if you want to know how to do what we're doing, mm -hmm. hey, let's bridge the gap. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> let's bridge yeah. the gap. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. So with that being said, we want you guys to tune in every Thursday, 7 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I know some of you guys probably not on now because I think I kind of messed up something. But hey, everybody will see it before tonight. Um, so yeah, any final words, Miss Go Getter? And then any church announcements? Anything? <laughs> no, no church announcements. Absolutely. So with that being said. We're gonna get on out of here and we see you we, we will see you guys next episode. Um yeah, next Thursday. Yeah. So don't let the church say amen. 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 Good night. <laughs> Good night. Good night. <laughs>